Hey everyone, today I'm back with another indie polish brand to share with you. So this time I'll be sharing Beyond the Nail, which I've had in my untried stash now for quite some time. This is a Canadian indie brand, and if you'd like to see more on my thoughts and opinions in regards to these colors, keep on watching. So the first indie polish from my untried stash that I'll be sharing with you is called High Tide. This is a very gorgeous sky blue. As you can see, it's a bit streaky with the first coat. I'm hoping that when I go in with the second coat, it self-levels a bit better, but it's so, so pretty. So I have really high hopes for this. So here's High Tide with the second coat. I really only needed to go in with two coats, which is really good. I'm really impressed with that because I really thought I was going to have to go in with a third one. So this is it with just two coats. So here is what high tide looks like against my skin tone. Again, my camera is making this a lot lighter. It's it's about one or two shades darker than what my camera is picking it up to be. Such a beautiful blue. The next color I have to share is called Neon Green. Already, this is tripping out my camera. Like, this is coming up a bit more muted than what I'm seeing in real life. So here is neon green in just one coat. Most neons are sheer and they do appear streaky like this one is. So we'll see how it turns out when I build it up. Some neons too you can go in and use a white base to help make it pop a bit but I'm not going to do that because I actually want to see how they build up without a white base. And here we have neon green so I really did need that third coat to give it the look that I was going for again my camera's making it more like a minty green I swear to you it's not it's very bright this is one of those colors where it would more than likely be best to use a white as the base because although it is um, fully opaque in three coats I can still see some like bald spots if you wish like they're probably not picking up on camera but I can definitely see them so I would definitely have gone in with a white base first and then used um, maybe one or two coats of the green to help it even pop a little bit more. This is neon green against my skin tone. As you can see, you can't see the purple under my nail. Fully opaque, three coats. This one is neon orange. And of course, again, my camera's picking it up not true to life. In my camera, it's showing up more like a peachy orange, but in real life, it has more like a reddish undertone to it. So this one I wouldn't consider a neon, it's not as bright as I was expecting it to be and it could be because I also have had this color sitting around for god knows how long because like again this was from my untried stash for how many years and I haven't gotten around to sharing it till now but it is still a really nice orange, a bit streaky again and I'm sure that's because of the pigments that are used to make it a neon color so I am definitely gonna go in with a second coat had I gone in a bit thicker I think I could have probably gotten away with one but I am gonna go in with two for sure again this is neon orange in three coats again that third coat really helped to give it the opaqueness that I was looking for and helped it to self-level a lot better 
Here we have neon orange against my skin tone. This is picking up more pumpkin-y than it actually is. It is brighter in real life. Very, very pretty. Next we have neon pink. It did have a really good coverage and it was really really smooth very opaque and all and to be honest with you guys you don't have to go in with a second coat but I'm just gonna do so just to make sure everything is leveled nicely but you could very well get away with one coat with this one for sure and here is neon pink only needed two coats for this as well again this one you could have easily gotten away with one had I gone in with a thicker coat but even still with two coats this is still really lovely here is neon pink I'd actually wear this color I'm not usually a pink girl like obviously you guys but know by now I love the color purple but sometimes I, I like to wear pinks too and I would wear this one And here is neon yellow three coats so again this one is just like the neon green I would use this over a white base to help it to pop a bit more and of course my camera is making it up just a bit lighter than it is it really is like that highlighter yellow that really bright neon yellow and because the yellows tend to be a bit streaky definitely would go in like I said with the white base just to make it a bit easier make the application a bit smoother but this is what we have in three coats here is neon yellow against my skin tone. Very, very vibrant. I love bright colors like these, but I just don't know if I could pull off this like highlighter yellow. But I know there are people out there that do it and do it very well. So next up from Beyond the Nail is Pegasus. This is such a beauty already just by looking at the bottle. This is a stunning bluish gray linear hollow. Such a pretty, pretty polish. It is a bit sheer, but I'm sure enough that with the second coat, it will build it up to full opacity very nicely. I am loving this color so much. And here is Pegasus with the second coat. Just as I expected, only needed two coats to be fully opaque and it is such a delicate and yet stunning color all at the same time. Here is Pegasus against my skin tone. I just am in love with this. It is so delicate and again very very opaque and the, the hollow shift is just stunning. And the second last polish I'll be sharing is called Pixie. Look at how stunning this is, another linear hollow. So Pixie is a lovely caramel linear hollow and there's some golden shimmer in here. I just think that this is so beautiful. Definitely gonna build it up maybe with three coat but we'll see how it looks with the second coat and I just love how the hollow pigment shifts based on the angle of the lighting. Oh, look at this beauty. This is Pixie in two coats. Again, I was correct with this one as well. Only needed only needed two generous coats to be fully opaque and that shift in the hollow is so strong. This is such a beautiful caramel. I love colors like this. And this one is Pixie. Look at how gorgeous this is. I would definitely wear this, especially on my toes. So, so pretty. And last but not least, I have Spirit. Look at how stunning this is, guys. And look how strong that linear hollow is.
So this is a black linear hollow polish. Very, very stunning. And it is very pigmented as well. I am going to go in with a second coat just to help build it up a bit more. But maybe had I gone in a bit thicker, I could have gotten away with one coat. But again, I did choose to go in with a slightly thinner coat. And just look at how it shifts on the lighting. This is amazing. Here is Spirit in two coats. This is another fantastic one. Only needed two coats and even at that first coat, if I had gone in with a thicker first coat, I could have gotten away with one. But with the second coat, it really helped to deepen it and make that hollow shift even stronger. It is Spirit against my skin tone. I love this. Like this is a gorgeous black, especially with all of the hollow properties. It is so pretty. This would be great, especially for Halloween, guys. So for those of you that aren't into gel polishes and are more into like regular nail polishes, if you can get your hands on this one, you really need to. And here we have it for my review on the Beyond the Nail Indie Canadian Polish brand. So let me know, guys, what are your thoughts? Did you have a favorite color? Have you ever heard of this brand before? As always, guys, I will make sure to have everything linked down in the description box for you. Thank you so much for sticking around with me and tuning into my video. Please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Do subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit that notification bell so you will be notified when you do when I do post more content. If you know anyone that would be interested in this video, go on ahead and give it a share. Until next time, stay glamorous.